So um, unfortunately, the problems that would, con would continue would be of more, of more structural issues about maybe the information architecture or not really understanding the user's goals. So it might, the, the flow of trying to complete that goal it might be a little bit backwards, but the, the nice thing, um, in fact, the lovely thing about building um, with Cascades and using any of the design patterns for the various runtimes is those little, um, those little nice things that are the low-hanging fruit of quick and easy things, you don't really have to think about them. They're already there, they come baked in, they, they're there by default. So unfortunately, the problems then become bigger. <laughs> so. <laughs> And one good thing about uh, Cascades is that it has the declarative UI. So personally, uh, it, I think it's easier to reorganize an application if we're just changing the QML. And even if the, de the developer split it up in pages and then you want to reorganize the flow or something, that's quite easy as well. I say, I, there's a, a, a thing that, uh, just to, mm -hmm. I like your question because we used to engage designers that way. I, speaking as a developer, we used to, a lot of times you talk to the, de the designers or the graphics designers and they're too busy, they'll schedule in sometime. And the best way to engage the developers we found was that that's fine, it's okay. We've done our own design and we think it's pretty good. Um, so we're just gonna ship it the way it is. And that's when you get the de designers engaged because you wait, hang on just a minute. Um, and then they'll actually... Uh, <laughs> Threaten Yeah. Threaten. <laughs> yeah so if you want to engage a designer, yeah. Just do it yourself and then see what they think. Um, <laughs> but yeah. uh, I, we were talking about this last night. I, I'm, I'm intrigued by the notion that, uh, you know, I, and this is sort of revealed too, if you listen to designers, if you sit down like I did last night with uh, some people from Sweden um, and you listen to the designers and uh, the subject of fonts came up and you realize that there is a lot of detail that comes into font selection. If you talk to the people who do it, there's a lot of detail there. If you talk about animation curves, there's a lot of detail there. There's a lot that developers take for granted in terms of aesthetics, design, um, clarity of focus. Um, and I gotta say, the one encouragement that I'd have is that, and sort of speak, like, the animation curves is the one thing. Know that thought has been put into the animation curves that are there. If you're a designer and you not, and you know you don't, there are areas that, uh, like, where you're not confident. If you don't know a lot about fonts or color, don't change those things. Um, leave them alone. 